establishing as something in the engine room blows. And that's where we get started tonight, right off the top at 10. Good evening again. The cause still being determined, and now they're bringing in some top federal investigators. In the meantime, four families are in the grips of tragedy, and thousands of passengers will not be going on vacation. On the night team, and on the story for us, 7's Brian Andrews live tonight. Brian? 7 o'clock in the morning yesterday, passengers who were aboard the Norway, one of the grand old ladies of the sea, are awakened by the sound of an explosion. Sprinklers are going off, so are alarms. Some run to their muster stations. Other crew members are actually blown out of the ship through cargo doors by the force of this blast. Four crew members are killed. I'm actually beeped by somebody who says, hey, something's going on. It's the crack of dawn, but get moving. And we mobilized our crews, found out what happened. Tonight, the feds are telling us it is not a terror attack. It is most likely an accident. And just one station has the video as the Norway blew. It's early Sunday morning, and an elderly couple about to head out on a cruise themselves has stopped to take a moment to capture these images of the Miami skyline and other cruise ships waiting at the port of Miami about to embark when their camera captures the unexpected. An explosion aboard the SS Norway. A deadly explosion. The National Transportation Safety Board has interviewed the Norway's captain and chief engineer about Sunday morning's event inside the boiler room. Three out of four of the boilers were operating at the time. One was down for maintenance. It was not the one that, that caused the problem. The one that um, caused that exploded had had heavy maintenance last in 1999 and had routine maintenance 10 days ago, uh, a 3,000 hour uh, maintenance which was primarily cleaning, I'm told. The explosion killed four crew members, two of whom were inside the boiler room, two others who were just above inside the crew quarters. It's an accident that sent 15 other crew members to the hospital. But no passengers were injured. Here's another look at that home video, this time slowed down just a bit, so you can get a much better look at what happened on Sunday morning. Just before the blast occurred, the ship's chief engineer told investigators he felt a small vibration, then a large vibration, and suddenly the ship's lights went dark. Investigators are working to determine if the age of the boiler aboard this aging cruise ship played a role in the blast. We'll be looking at, and we are obtaining, all the records on the maintenance, any repairs. We're going to be looking at the procedures. What does the what does the crew normally do in the boiler room? The boiler room, center of the ship, starboard side. Hey, rocket burn, shut them down. The first responders, Miami-Dade Police and Fire, have now turned the investigation over to the feds, the National Transportation Safety Board, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, who are working together to figure out what caused the blast. Our expertise is in the area of incendiary and explosives, and in many instances, uh, we have been able to rule out a lot of uh, the use of these devices in many investigations throughout the country. Back now with live pictures from the port of Miami of Norwegian Cruise Line's SS Norway, which is all lit up tonight with no passengers on board. It's not going to be going anywhere. Tomorrow morning, NTSB and ATF investigators will go into the engine room to begin their search for evidence and hard information on why this happened. It has had quite a toll for Norwegian Cruise Line. They are going to have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, no doubt, to fix the problem. Also, hundreds of thousands of dollars in losses, perhaps, from cruises that had to be canceled, vacations that had to be rescheduled, and, of course, the insurmountable cost that you really can't put a price tag on, the cost of four lives who worked for the company. Reporting live from the Port of Miami, I'm Brian Andrews, 7 News, 19. Also tonight at 10, horror in a South Florida home when a man breaks through a woman's door against the cruise line. He was in the shower in an upper deck when the explosion happened. For so many years, I've tried... When you have a ship as old as the Norway and as poorly maintained, you're bound to have problems. Superheated steam is what trains used in the Civil War, and it's dangerous. It's like having a bomb on like your ship. Late today, excuse me, the Norwegian Cruise Line released a statement that said, quote, NCL is working closely with the families and arrangements are being made for the family members to come to Miami just as soon as possible. And point values are tripled. My mass panic as something in the engine room blows. 